Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel. Today we'd like to talk about Bitcoin, S&P 500 and our local trades for DuotX. Let's jump in. So before I start analyzing what is just the local trades, I would like to jump into S&P 500. And like you see yesterday, yesterday we hold the line. So they just like a play with us uh, in this range. And my minimal target for S&P 500, if we today or in this week after the FOMS meeting, we crash down. So here's the first target and here's the last target. Most people expect the drop to 3K 200 or 3K for S&P 500, but I don't think so. We will see these numbers now. Maybe later, yes, maybe after uh, a summer, maybe we come back to these targets once again. But now uh, my plan is still relevant. If we hold this line, we have to come back in this range in uh, January and going out to close this gap on a daily time frame. So on the star indicator, uh, we probably can see some something like this one and start climbing up in this triangle. So go back to Bitcoin. We are still in the range like you can see and my target still in play. So basically we can see that move a little bit up to 17 and 200 reject and drop it down a little bit lower to grab this liquidity so 16k uh, around here 16k or two and 200 and 16k uh, to this block it can be the stage we can find a support and change the trend to our targets just the local targets uh, going out of uh, this block one more time so let's make it like this one going out of this block grab this liquidity and start climbing up to grab this stop losses and this stop losses uh, first target is 21500 next one is uh, around 26k so all plan is still relevant i don't think so we will drop it down now to 14k uh, and 13k uh, at all uh, so i think this will be the maybe not a really f rally like everybody call it uh, i think it will be the most hated rally because now everybody expect the drop so for dvx just the local trades so if we see the rally on bitcoin yes most likely we, uh, our plan will be realized so we got this bottom we bounce it I mark it so go back to one hour time frame I mark it here you can open potential short and congrats everybody who opened short even from this level you grab uh, five um, more than five percent short and now we climb it up bounce find a rejection one more time and trade in this range so now uh, depends of the news and the foams and uh, data on this week i think the next target where you can find out that to open a short position is this level this level between one dollar 25 till one dollar 27 so this will be the next local uh, resistance zone if we're breaking out with volume trades sometimes here breaking out with volume uh, we have all chances to hit first target is around here around $1.75 so just my humble opinion it would be good to see uh, this week pump maybe by news or something to $1.27 and then going back to correction to liquidate all this stop losses who open along and grab liquidity at one dollar and seven so it will be the healthy healthy correction for uh, next leg uh, up so shorts you can look at in this zone long it's kind of risky now of course you can open long now you know uh, it's, it's easy with stop losses you can trade even now so stop loss you can add lower than this zone it's uh, less than two percent but risk rewards yes it can be seven percent seven percent uh, long you know but uh, most likely in this zone we can open short even in its middle stop loss can be here uh, less than two percent 
also and reward can be to this zone around 15%. 15% uh, take profit. Because on a daily time frame, you can see uh, the big players accumulate the what uh from $1.60 till this drop, till $1. So the average price, for example, can be $1.30. That's why we have all chances to pump a little bit higher to this zone, this block, $1.50. And they can sell it and we come back but it will be much much harder to drop that's why uh most likely i i, I i'm start looking to open short in this zone for middle term i'm still expect this uh, move to correction to 5 0.5 level by fib and uh, 61 level by fib it's 512 and 560 so this is my target what you already know from my previous video so we have to hold this line because we already traded under 27 zone so uh, we tested 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 level by FIP. so if we drop lower it can be minus 0 0.61 level by FIP, 55 cents so it will be so hard it's minus 50 percent uh, from this current price so that's why uh, i think we hold this range and uh, when we go in out of this range, the target will be, uh, we just, just can check according just uh, to basic technical analysis. So if it's a double bottom, you know, we can pump at least to 0 0.38 level by FIB uh, with weak candle, you know, just a weak candle can be to 0 0.5 level by FIB. This is how it works. If we hold a line, of course, we can trade sometimes also in this range and uh, at the beginning of february or after the unlock uh, when the uh, coins will be on the hands uh this uh, early investors they can uh, bring the fomo post some uh hype it and greedy articles in the media and all retail investor open long here and jump in at five dollar and then we will crash once again to test this support zone like two dollar fifty but it will be once again uh 50 percent crash that's why uh, don't rush now with short position because it's uh, late shorts uh most likely i think we will see some a rally on a bitcoin and on another altcoins uh, at the beginning of uh, spring but for the what x it can be in january guys i hope you like this video about the what x share this video with your friends subscribe channel hit the like button hit the notification button and don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys